What's good YouTube, Mario Devon here for yet another video. Okay, I know, I know, I took a hiatus. All right, I left you all alone and I'm sorry about that. But look around, look at the room, look at the room, look at the digs, all right? Look at the feng shui. And I've been doing some things behind the scenes. Don't think just because I haven't been recording, I haven't been working, okay? So most of you know I am now a full-time creator, okay? So I wanted to make sure we had an intimate space for us to have our one-on-one -on -one conversations. I wanted you all to, you know, have a place where you could spend with me, okay? Intimately, of course. But that's not the point of this video, okay? We got a whole video coming where I walk you through all the things that are in this room the reasons why i have them there today all right we're going to jump on this r5 train and i want to talk about the reason why i did not get the r5 okay i know a lot of y'all are going to get me in the comments but i gotta talk about it okay because it needs to be talked about the reason why i didn't get the canon eos r5 the canon r5 is because okay to me just 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 bear with me it looks like a sharper version of the Canon R, okay? Like I love the Canon R. This camera, I love the way it looks. It's been a great YouTube camera. It's been a great professional camera that I've used on actual gigs, especially with the Atomos Ninja 5. But I, you know, I wanted to have something that was gonna take this Canon R to the next level. But the picture quality is amazing, okay? Sharp images is, is, is beautiful, okay? But it just looks like a Canon R and it doesn't really look special to me. We're not gonna talk about the overheating and all that and stuff. It's enough videos out there about that as far as you know. Is the 8K actually usable, that fun stuff? That's not the point of that. I wanted the picture, the image, to look as special as you know something that was in the cinema market. If I'm spending this amount of money, it can shoot 8K, it can shoot all these high bit rates. I kinda wanted it to look like a cinema camera in a sense, okay? So this video is all about what did I spend that $4,000 on instead of the R5. Let's break it down, let's go one by one some pieces are like oh mario that's boring right? why would you why would you spend your, your your chips on that but i'm gonna explain the reasons why so let's go with the first item in no particular order all right the m6 mark ii okay which is the camera i'm shooting on right here all right what do you think the picture quality looks like is it a viable b camera to my canon r right here in front of me you let me know Keep this in mind, I used to use the M50 as my B camera, my overhead camera, but what happened is I actually gave away my M50, okay? I gave it away to a friend because I knew that they would use it. And you know, it was a good starter camera, okay? So I went with the M6 because the M6 has that 4K, okay? It has that full 4K, no crop. It's not full frame, but if you add a speed booster, you can get near that full frame 4K, you know, image. So that was the reason why I got the M6 Mark II as a great B camera for YouTube. It is small, lightweight, great for vlogging. I can also mount it above like I usually do on a lot of my other YouTube videos where, you know, I do an overhead unboxing, okay? So it's a great B camera for that. So there you go. That was, that was where the first thousand dollars was spent. Where the other thousand dollars is spent, okay? One thing you probably noticed, you've never seen drone shots in my video. And the reason why is because I didn't own a drone, but now I do, okay? I was waiting to unbox this thing. I've been waiting just to do this video to talk about the, you know, what I invested my money on is instead of getting yet another Canon R camera. What I want you to take away from this video is this before I keep going. I want to reinforce the idea of spending your money on things you don't already have. I feel like people could have used that money to buy better lighting. I feel like people could have used it to buy better drone, better lenses. It's so many things so sometimes you don't need yet another camera body sometimes you need to spend it on the things you don't have that makes your production better okay so that's what I did I didn't have a drone and one of the things that's coming up in my life is more real estate gigs as I shoot bigger houses I would love to do like pans around these bigger houses to really kind of display the outside of a home not to mention I think it is a competitive advantage when you can tell someone you have a drone whether you you know shooting weddings or any other gig music videos but if you have a drone you can get shots that a lot of other people in your market as a competitive videographer, they may not have that, but you have that. And now I have one. And now I can tell people I have a drone. Do I know how to use it yet? No, because it's still in the box, still wrapped in plastic. But you know, that's where the other, we'll say, you know, with the fly more combo, the other $1,200 went, okay? Let's keep going. The final thing I purchased is by far my favorite thing that I purchased of the amount of money that I allocated to the R5 pre-order. All right, y'all, so I know. 
Mario, you said don't buy you know, another camera, okay? I said that, but I lied to you. I'm a liar, all right? You shouldn't trust me. But you gotta understand something. This is not another mirrorless camera. This, my friends, is the Zcam E2 S6. All right, so the reason why I got this, all right, I got this because I wanted to have something very modular, okay? I wanted to have something that was modular that gave me a special picture look all right it was all about the look not only about the look as far as like the image quality but as far as even the look as a professional when i go to a gig you know a lot of people don't really care usually if i bring a mirrorless camera but when you bring a cinema camera they know okay my money was well spent i've already spent the money on this but i've also spent additional money on things and items to rig this out keep this in mind i already have an atomos ninja 5 so i already know that this pairs very well with it so i already have pieces from small rig that pair perfectly with this thing so i was like hey i can already build around it just by the brain i just need to buy the brain and from there there you go i look forward to reviewing this for you especially as a person that's never owned their own cinema camera use them never own one so i cannot wait to see what the production of like just different gigs that i do going forward look like and especially when i use this for something like a podcast when i use this for something like interviews i may even use this thing to do some of these youtube videos talking to y'all because i want I want you to know how much you mean to me, okay? I want you to know that you're special, so why would I not use a special camera to, you know, really exude our special relationship, okay? So I'm gonna cast this to the side, not in a bad way. Hey, get on over there, no, no move. Understand, I think the Canon R5 is a powerful camera, but I wanted to spend money on other stuff that I felt would bring me more money. I want you all to take this away. You have to understand that these are business moves, okay? If you're gonna spend four grand on a camera, do you think you're gonna make that money back? I really don't feel like people are gonna pay people additional money. Like, I already have an R. I don't think people are gonna pay me more just because I have an R5, but I feel like if I have a cinema camera, they will pay me more because there is still just gonna be a difference in picture quality. All right, keep this in mind also. For me, I will talk a little bit about the overheating. That was a big deal breaker for me when I heard about the Canon R5's overheating. If you look around this room, okay, we have a completely different room, a completely different room. So for me, there are reasons why I invest money in certain things and for me, okay, the R5 just did not seem like it was going to be the workhorse I needed. As a photography camera, love it. If I could just, you know, have the money to spend four grand on just a photography camera, Camera, I would do that, but I didn't see that as feasible. I buy mirrorless cameras for their hybrid capabilities, not because I want to have a good photography camera or a good video camera. Like, I wanted a good video camera. And the reason why I bought a cinema camera is because I wanted a good video camera. <laughs> like, that just makes sense to me. The reason why I buy a mirrorless camera is because I want a good hybrid camera. So there's a difference. You have to understand what you get out of these things, okay? You gotta understand the purpose for it. But if I couldn't use the high quality 4K, even if it is full frame, no crop, like, it, it just didn't make sense to me to just shoot in bursts and then when it overheats, I can't even use it for a number of like, you know, an hour. Like that's, that does not fit my workflow. For some people it may, but for me, it does not at all in any shape, form or fashion fit my workflow. So for everyone that got the R5, congratulations, enjoy your camera. Please make sure you're getting your money's worth out of it. I don't care if it's photo, I don't care if it's video, especially wedding photographers. I can see you all getting your money's worth because that autofocus is just the best I've ever seen. Get your money do your thing, get your hustle on. I love it, I respect it. So that's gonna be good for you guys. But as far as like me, I wanted to use the R5 as my main camera. And I wanted to use the R as my B camera, okay? That was gonna be the perfect match, right? It just didn't work out and that's okay. So now we're gonna lean on the Z cam as one of those, you know, that, that production camera, that high value 6K production camera. So I, I just advise you all, you know, if you have that money, you know, you spend it wisely. I want you to spend it on the things you need. Some of you out there can use a really good monitor, all right, that helps you look at yourself. I got two. I'm looking at myself on two angles right now because it helps me produce. I get to see myself and I know if I'm doing the right stuff, all that kind of thing. Some of you should invest in audio. Some of you should invest in software. And lastly, some of you should invest in education. 
And that's why we have today's sponsor, Skillshare. Skillshare, yes, we are back with the Skillshare ads, all right? Skillshare is a platform with thousands, and I mean thousands of classes of things that you can learn. It doesn't matter the topic. They have so many people on there that will educate you on the things that you actually want to learn that will help you make money. Maybe it's something you want to learn for fun. Maybe it's a cooking class. There's plenty of content on there related to content creation. So go ahead, use that Skillshare. I'm gonna put the code down below. Use this link down below to get two free months of Skillshare, okay? It's gonna be down here on the page. The coupon code is gonna be up here. I'm gonna put all of this information in the description below. Be sure to use this, all right? Two free months of Skillshare. We're still out here learning things. This is no point of you not trying to learn something new right now in a time like this, especially if you are a content creator. You should be always learning something new and Skillshare has that thing that will help you out. So there you go. But that's all I have for today. I just wanted to kind of give you something, all right? It's been a while since I've actually sat in front of a camera to talk to you all, but I wanted to break down what I bought, where I spent my moolah, what I spent that money baby okay so you hit me down below if you had you know the r5 pre-order and you canceled your pre-order what did you get instead some of you are gonna say i got the sony a7s3 and that's what's up too i love that i respect that decision tell me down below what you bought instead of the r5 but if you did buy the r5 i would love to know did you buy it and what are you using it for so thank you all for watching please 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 like the video comment to your boy support your boy subscribe to your boy okay i'm out here i'm trying to do this thing full time we are now youtube partners i don't know how that happened but i you know it wouldn't have happened without y'all so i thank you thank you for the thousand subscribers thank you for the watch hours couldn't do it without you okay now i'm about to get out of here all right we're done here we're done i'm back i'm just telling you i'm back baby let's do this all right all right you got that i like that you like that too i will see you on the next video peace out